Okay, this is a, a, a piece of free software by uh, Grant Connell. Uh, you can Google his stuff. Uh, Google Grant Connell software, uh, spelled as C-O-N-N-E-L-L. -L. And uh, you'll find several of his uh, little free pieces of software you can download. They're real small programs, and uh, you just put them on your computer and... Uh, I've got this running on Windows 7 right now, and uh, it's uh, it's pretty cool. Okay, uh, here you have channel 1 and channel 2, and then the control. It's a dual function uh, generator. It produces uh, it produces sound at uh, different uh, frequencies. Okay, this let's uh, I'll show you this one first. Uh, let's put it. Okay, hear that? Now that plays over your uh, computer sound card. That's 200 cycles. 616. I want to set it at about uh, 15, about uh, 1,000 here. You can use it, you can drag it. Or you can use the... Uh, the usual Windows uh, buttons here to may or you can just uh, type in, select it, type in uh, the frequency you want, and then uh, and then hit enter, and uh, and then you can uh, you can listen to uh, you can listen to it here. Turn it on and off. Now I've got it on the left channel because my left speaker is right close to here and I'll be using that later. I'll show you why. Uh, I'm going to uh, I'm going to insert these uh, frequencies into uh, my uh, oscilloscope. Okay, now it also plays dual tones. I'm going to turn on the uh, channel 2 one. And see, it's uh, it's playing it both together, or one at a time, or none. And uh, and then it also has a sine wave generator here, and you have to be hooked up to your oscilloscope to see the sine waves. But it shows about shows a sine wave, square, triangle, noise, a ramp, and ramp. And uh, back to sign. It's got a. Uh, it's got six different uh, sine waves here. Both channels do, and you can see them. And then uh, this switches from the uh, function display up here to the music display. Makes makes one or the other of them active. And now I'll, I'll show you when I turn that. This is the music. It's uh, doing a, a, a C tone, and we'll flip back to the function at a thousand. And it's uh, so. Anyways, it's a pretty versatile little thing. However, I have figured out how to connect this from my uh, computer sound card into my um, uh, into my uh, oscilloscope using a patch cord. I have a. Uh, I have a six foot uh, US, uh, I have a six foot uh, one eighth inch uh, type of um, stereo uh, lead here. What, it, what this is, is just a small uh, jumper with two male ends. And I have a male end down, a six footer with a male end down on my uh, sound card. Um, the speaker output and it comes up here on my de desk and then I have my speakers plugged into that so I have easy access so I don't have to crawl under my desk and plug and unplug things. So anyways I have I have this little jumper here that I'm going to use later on. I'll show you uh, when I uh, get ready to uh, connect this to the oscilloscope and this jumper 
Uh, one end will plug into that six foot jumper and then the other end I'll uh, connect my uh, probe to it and we'll uh, we'll uh, show you the sine wave on the uh, oscilloscope. Okay, I'm going to stop this one here. Carrying on from the uh, first part of this uh, video with the uh, dual function generator. Uh, this is the oscilloscope. It's a Tektronic 2247A. I'm going to uh, start her up. And give it time to warm up. Okay, now I'm going to uh, I'm going to take the uh, six foot lead from my sound card to my desk and I'm going to put in that short jumper on it and then I'm going to take my computer lead or my uh, my uh, channel one lead probe and I'm going to put the little clip on the ground of this uh, stereo plug and then hook the uh, Hook the other lead onto the uh, to the uh, to the end of the uh, the little uh, jumper, the other male end of the jumper. Okay, now we're set up there. The line has settled down. Now I'm going to go back on my screen and I'm going to uh, turn on channel one. There's a uh, thousand hertz sound right there at 20 millivolts and 0.5 milliseconds and we'll change the uh, milliseconds to uh, 2 milliseconds 5 Two milliseconds there and then uh, adjust the volts to uh, 10 millivolts and we'll kind of center that and that's what that looks like. that's what a uh, a thousand uh, Hertz looks like this will be a 24 on the dual dual generator here I'm going to turn that one on now that superimposes a 24 hertz uh, tone. I'm going to turn the 1000 off. That's a 24. Back to the 1000. Off. On. Now they're both on. This is, a th this is 2400 here. Okay, now I'm going to turn both of those off and we're going to go to the sine wave uh, on channel, uh, a channel one of my dual function generator here. I'm going to uh, show you that's the sine wave at a thousand hertz. That's supposed to be the square wave. Doesn't look very square to me. This is the triangle. Noise. This is just noise. Uh, this is a ramp. An N ramp. And back to the sine wave. 